Hello, my name is Kevin Allen with Valux, and today we're going to have a webinar over the Valux valence and the different type of valent valence that Valux carries. We're going to be talking about the active hubs, the passive hubs. These are the eight channels, and these are the 16 channels, and then also about different balins. This is one of the balins of the couple of balins we carry. What is a balin? A balin is an electronical device that converts between a balanced signal, two signals working against each other where ground is irrelevant, and an unbalanced signal is a signal working against ground or grounding issues. A balin can take any form and may include devices that also transform independency but needs not to do so. Balins can take many forms of their presence is not always obvious. Sometimes in cases of transformers, balins may be used on magnetic coupling but need not to do so, common mode chokes are also used as balins and may work by eliminating rather than ignoring common mode single. Here we have a picture of 16 coax cables. Using balins, you can eliminate the cost and the abundancy as we can tell how big all of these are 16 coaxes versus UTP wiring system that can be used as balin. Each two set of wires will be used for one balin so therefore in most cases you can hook up to four balins through one set of Cat5 cabling where on coax cabling you can only use one coax cable per camera. This is one of the benefits of having balins. On a Cat5, usually you can hook up, as I said, four Cat5s equals four coax cables. So this right here would be 16 cables or 16 videos. This was what you would have 16 cables for just if you were using straight up coax without balins. A single passive transmitter. Our model number is the SVU-PT and we have the SVU-PTR. This is the transmitter and the receiver. The product description as for the SVU-PT forward slash R which is the transmitter and receiver is designed to provide superior immunity from noise and interference such as RFI and EMI. The SVU-PT is used for video transmitting while the SVU-PR as the receiver. We suggest using these items in pair for the best quality of picture. A single passive transmitter which is the SVU-PT is transmitted distance of color signal cable via CAT5 or CAT6 cable. The transmission data is up to 300 meters, 1,000 feet if you're using passive on both sides with the balance. And if you're using a passive balin and an active balin or an active hub, you can go up to 800 meters, which is 266 or 2,667 feet with formal active receivers. No need for power on the passive sides, excellent anti-interference ability, built-in transmission protection, open on spot and easy connections for installation. The SVU-PT Passive Video Balin. This balin is a screwless turn block that reduces wiring time. This one does not have a pigtail like some of our other balins. It's NTSC and PAL, semi and all compa are compatibility. It eliminates coax cable up to 300 meters, that is 1,000 feet, 
via Category 5 Unshielded Twisted Pair Cabling. Open on spot, easy adjustment, easy conventional install. <clears throat> the SVU-PT03 Passive Video Balin. As we can tell, this is a screwless turn block that reduced wiring time. You can also see in this picture, this one, you actually have, I think, six inches to work with that has a pigtail. So it does have a pigtail of like three to six inches to work with. It eliminates coax cabling. You can run it up to 300 meters, that is 1,000 feet, via cat Category 5 unshielded twisted pair of cables, which is Ethernet. Open on spot and easy adjustments, conventional e install, and as I, as you can tell, these are very easy to install. There you've got two wires that you would just push these down. You would put in your negative and your positive, and then go to the active receiver and do the same thing, or your passive receiver, or another Balin on the other side. Next one is the SVU PT01 passive Balin. You've once again got your positive and negative here. This is a screw in, so you'd slide in your wire and you'd be able to screw it, so therefore you can secure it more than the other ones when you just push the button and release the button. So this one you can tighten them down much more. It is a screw terminal block that reduces the wiring time. It is also PAL, NTSC, semi, and all system compatibility. It eliminates coax cable. You can run it up to 300 meter, that is 1,000 feet, via Category 5 Unshielded Twisted Pair Cabling, which is Ethernet cabling. Open, on spot, and easy adjustment, conventional install. Here we have a diagram of the Velux box camera, a Velux Balin, another Velux Balin, a passive hub, and a monitor. As we were talking, you can run one Category 5 cabling through here. You would use two wires from the Category 5 cable to go into here to go into the back of the box cable. Then you would use two more of those wires that is in that Balin, and you can use a different Balin to go here. And then you would use another two wire sets of Balins of the Category 5 hook it up to the Balin and run it to here. So you would be able to hook up one. We are missing one Balin that we could add right here because you would need a Balin for the box camera, you would need a Balin for the dome camera, you would need a Balin for the PTZ, and then you can run all that to a passive hub that we carry, which the units would plug into the bottom of the hub, and then these right here would go out to your DVR or directly to a monitor. An 8-port passive CCTV hub. This is the Velux 8-port hub. It is also PAL, NTSE, semi, all compatible. It eliminates coax cabling. 225 meters, that is 743 feet via Category 5 unshielded cable. Open on spots, easy adjustment, and conventional install. And then once again, since we now have a close-up picture, as we would say, we would have the Balins coming here. Your Category 5 cable would be coming here. You would open up the Category 5 here, and you would put the plus and negative of each camera right here. And usually one Category 5, you could hook up four cameras, so you would be able to hook up four here. Four here, you would be running eight cameras off of two cables using the Velux hub or uh, Balins and this passive hub. The 8 channel passive hub, the model number SVU PR8. Transmission distance of color signal cable via CAT5 or via CAT6 up to 225 meters, that's 743 feet, with a passive transmitter. No need to provide power. Built-in transistent protection, see? excellent anti-interference ability, and stable performance. Next is the 16-channel passive hub. 
the model number SVU-PR16. The PR SVUR PR16 is a 16-port video receiver hub with surge suppression. It is suitable for centralizing mounting of big projects and it is conventional for project installation. Once again, I want to point out something that I forgot to mention on the other ones. On all the hubs that Velux carries, if you've noticed, you've got two screw holes here, two screw holes on the other side. This right here is where you can mount any of the Velux hubs into a rack mount server. So therefore, if you have a Velux DVR, a Velux rack mount uh, server, you can add, easily add the Velux hub into the rack mount size of the system that you're using because they are rack mountable. Now I'm going to talk more about the 16 channel hub. The 16 channel passive video hub, the model number SVU-PR16, transmits distance of color signal via CAT5 or CAT6 up to 225 meters 743 feet with a passive transmitter, no need for power, built-in protection, excellent anti-ability and stable performance. And we are about to go to active hub uh, or active receivers. You can mix up an active receiver with the passive hub to go further distance. Here, signal our signal channel active video transmitter. The model number is SVU-AT and the active transmitter is going to be SVU-AR. The transmitter, the transmitter distance of color signal via CAT5 or CAT6 up to 1500 meter that would be 5000 feet with an active transmitter and receiver combined together. They accept 12 volts or 24 volts power supply, the power reverse polar protection, built-in transcent protection, dip switches with two levels of adjustment, brightness and sharpness, excellent noise and cross rejection functions. Single channel active video transmitter model number SVU AT and this is the transmitter. The SVU-AT is the V series of the active video balance which can provide excellent or extended distance between CCTV camera and DVRs or multiplexers via UTP cabling which is Ethernet cabling. This is SVU-AT is a signal or a single channel active transmitter works with the SVU-AR as a receiver in pairs. You must have a receiver and a transmitter together in order for them to work properly for the maximum distance. <coughs> the single active transmitter or video receiver and transmitter, the model number SVU-AR being the receiver and the SVU dash AT being the transmitter. As we can see, we have both of them right here. One of them being the transmitter and one of them being the receiver. This is the transmitter, this is the receiver. The transmit or the transmission data of color via CAT5 or CAT6 up to 5,000 feet with an active transmitter and an active receiver will need, need to be needed in order to go the maximum distance. 20 or the unit will both take 12 volt DC and 12 volt AC power power supply reverse polar protection six levels of adjustment brightness and sharpness comprehension dip switch and potential double control excellent noise and crosstalking rejection function built-in transmission protection. 
single channel active video receiver this is the model number SVU-AR the SVU-AR is the V series of active video balins which can provide extended distance between CCTV cameras and DVRs or Mexiplexers via UTP cabling which is Ethernet cabling the SVU-AR is a single channel active receiver that works with the SVU-AT as the transmitter in pairs. Next we're going to talk about the Velux Active 8 channel hubs. The actual 8 channel hubs are PAL, NTSE, semi-all compatibility up to 15 or 1,500 meters that is 4,921 feet via video transmission manual adjustments and manual adjustments you have the switches and or this little knob here to turn up and everything to increase to get your brightness where you need it and everything when you hook up the video the 8 channel active video hub the SVU-AR8 the SVU-AR8 is suitable for centralizing mounting of multiple channels receivers thereby helping to reduce on-site service and cost the features of the SVU-AR8 transmitting distance a via signal via category 5 or cat 6 which is ethernet cabling up to 800 meters that's 266 or 2667 feet with a passive transmitter this is where you use passive and active together so you can have the passive transmitters that we were showing you earlier hooked up to an active receiver which we're showing now to get up to the 800 meters if you use an active transmitter and an active receiver you can get up to 15 or 1500 meters that is 5000 feet if you are using as I said an active transmitter six levels of independency gain sharpness of brightness control suitable for direct installation in, in surveillance cabinets excellent anti-interference abilities built-in transparency protection and here as I said once again earlier these right here they are rack mountable you can put them in your rack mount and you would have the screws right here to screw it into your rack mount so if you already have your DVR in a rack mount you can add this to it if you have a DVR a hybrid DVR or a server DVR that is rack mount that you have in a rack mount server already you can just slide this in it you do not have to use the rack mount but we do have the add-ons for it to be installed into a rack mount the active 16 channel hub it's PAL NTSC semi all system compatible up to 1550 meters that is 5000 feet or 5000 feet with an active transmitter and manual adjustments and once again we talked about the adjustments here to decrease and darken the picture or increase and brighten the picture with this small adjustment right here that you could use a flathead screwdriver to do that the 16 channel active video hub the model number SVU-AR16 the SVUR or SVU-AR16 is a 16 channel active video hub used for central video transmission which can save project cost and be very convenient in construction don't forget about the Velux webinar event December the 13th 
We will be talking about all of the analog PTZs. This would be including the AutoTrack Valux PTZs. If you have any other questions or anything, please feel free to contact Valux at sales at Valux.net or you can contact us by phone at 1-800-510-6528 if you need any help or a solutions for any of your next project that you may be doing or you need help with or you need to locate the nearest authorized distributor of Valux to order Valux products or to find out where Valux products is available for purchase. Thank you very much for watching this Valux presentation.